Today, 343 released a new batch of Halo Championship related bundles, these being the playoff bundles. Each one contains 7 items, and today I'm going to go over every single one of them. So, as I go, my pies, I'm MagPileon, and let's jump straight in. Starting off with Cloud9, you of course get the Cloud9 playoff coating. This is decent, it's like Scorpion Punch, but blue, with some gold details. Honestly, I think the gold kind of ruins it for me, I think it would be a lot better if it was just the blue. I also believe making it asymmetrical is kind of unnecessary considering the amount of asymmetrical coatings there is in the game. Obviously, keep in mind these are not designed by 343, these are designed by the esports teams or someone that represents the esports teams. And I think it does a fine enough job of representing the team while being quite different from the original Cloud9 skin, I just feel like it could be a lot better. The battle rifle coating that you also get is much better, I think the gold on there looks a lot nicer, it has this camo pattern, both of them have this camo pattern, but the battle rifle skin does look pretty decent. The weapon charm is also really cute, it's this little cloud, I think it's a, it's a nice little weapon charm. And then as far as the emblem goes that comes with this bundle, you obviously get it for your vehicles, weapons and armor as a nameplate, it's very basic, it's the Cloud9 logo. So overall the items here are fine, I do feel like this coating could be a lot better though. Next up we have E United, or as I like to call it, the Joy-Con skin. I mean, take a look at a Nintendo Switch and then take a look at this coating and try and tell me they're not the same. What's weird is the preview, like the preview coating uh, on the image, it doesn't show any red at all, but there is just as much red as there is blue. I mean, it's a fine coating. It's another asymmetrical one, but I actually like this one a lot more. The battle rifle coating, I don't like as much. It's a much duller red and blue. I don't know if that's just the lighting for the weapon table, but it just doesn't look as nice. I do feel like both the weapon and armor coating would look better, again, without the gold details, but it doesn't ruin it as much as I think it does with the Cloud9 one. The weapon charm is pretty basic. It's the United logo, and the emblem is exactly the same as the charm. Overall, this bundle's fine. The Face Clan one is up next, and there's just something about this that looks really menacing. The re the shade of black, the fact that it's like com is this dark, it's insane. Like I don't know, it just looks really nice. It's very reflective, but it's very dark, and the red really stands out. Again, it's asymmetrical. It definitely differs from the original Phase one, but it does have that same sort of red and black camo, but it's only on the on one of the arms. It's a fine enough coating. I just wish the camo was on both arms rather than just the one. The battle rifle coating is okay. I do feel like this is probably one of the better battle rifle coatings out of all of them. It's got a little bit of the red and black camo, but for the most part, it's a pretty basic one. It's nice though, I do like it. The weapon charm is a, a hand doing the sort of FaZe Clan logo. It's, you know, kind of creative. And then there's also the FaZe Clan logo for the armor emblem, the nameplate, the vehicle emblem, and the weapon emblem. Next up, we have Navi. I really like the way this coating looks. It's super creative. I know it is asymmetrical, and I've already like said that I'm not a huge fan of most asymmetrical coatings, but this one's super creative and really stands out. I think it's much more unique. It's got this digital camo, but then it's made up of black, yellow, and blue, and I think it's a super creative coating overall. I love it how it looks. The battle rifle coating is also fine. Don't like it as much as the armor coating, but it's okay. The charm is the Navi logo, and the emblems are exactly the same as the charm. Again, it's a fine enough bundle. I can't complain too much. The G2 sports coating is probably the most basic out of all of them. It's very simple. It's red, white, and black, but it's symmetrical. I kind of like it down to the more simplistic style of it. It's very shiny black with the red being more of like a sort of a matte material. Uh, it looks good. Battle rifle coating, not as much of a fan on. I mean, we have loads of black and red weapon coatings, and this is definitely one of the worst. That's not to say it's bad, but as far as black and red coatings go for weapons, there's definitely better ones. The charm's cool, it's sort of like a metallic charm of their logo, it looks really solid, especially with the red eye. And then the emblem is pretty much the G2 esports emblem, which also looks cool, but I think the weapon charm looks much nicer. Next up we have the optic one, this is my favourite out of all of them, I just want to make it clear I don't follow the esports stuff, I don't care about any of the teams, so I have no bias towards any of them, but the optic one is definitely my favourite, and that's just down to the colour scheme. It's white with black and green details. It also has these like sort of white green stripes that go across it, which look pretty cool. I really love the way this coating looks, and this is the only one of them that I have brought. Again, that's not down to any bias towards the team, it's just because I prefer the colors. The battle rifle skin's fine. I'm not a, like a massive fan of the battle rifle skin. I am currently using it because I've just brought the bundle, but I do feel like there's better weapon coatings. In fact, I'd argue some of the other esports ones are better, but you know, I, it's decent enough. The weapon charm is sort of Chief's helmet, but with the Optic Gaming logo in the visor, which I think is a bit more creative and it's better than most of the others. The emblem is also that. Looks much nicer as a charm than it does as an emblem though. Next up we have Fnatic. The coating kind of just looks a bit like Scorpion Punch, but worse. Um, again, 
I feel like theirs looked like Scorpion Punch last time. It's not a bad coating, but I'm not a huge fan of it. The Battle Rifle skin is a bit better though, although it's, like I say, it's, it's very similar to the prior Fnatic one. Their weapon charm is my least favourite here. It's just a solid orange block with the Fnatic logo and the emblem is just a square with the Fnatic logo. As a whole, I feel like this is my least favourite of the bundles, just down to how basic it is. It's almost too simple where literally nothing about it stands out. Moving over to Sentinels, they have another Scorpion Punch-esque armor coating, this one being black and red, another black and red one, although I guess maybe it's more of a grey. The material of the red looks kind of nice though, it almost looks quite foamy, it's, it's weird. The Battle Rifle skin here, again, it's it's another black and red one. There's, there's better black and red ones, uh, but I do think, I can't quite tell, but looking at it on the weapons bench, I think this actually makes the ammo counter red, which if that is the case, then that's instantly a few extra points added. Their charm is definitely the most creative one, I think, out of all of them. I think the weapon charm here definitely looks the best. It's this, like, sort of glowing black and red box that has the Sentinels logo on it. I really like how it looks. And then we also have the Sentinels armor emblem, and obviously, again, it's a nameplate and an emblem for your vehicles and your weapons as well. The final one is Space Station, and I don't like the coating. It looks less like a natural sort of gold and looks more like plastic that has been painted gold. There's something that just looks so cheap about it. The Battle Rifle coating also isn't even gold. It's more of a yellow with some gold details, and I think it looks kind of gross. The Weapon Charm is fine. It's like a gold bar with the SSG on it. And I do actually like the emblem here. It's a gold coin with a space station helmet in the middle of it. I think that's kind of cute. But as a whole, I'm not a huge fan of what's here. Anyway, after going through every single one of these bundles, are they worth a thousand credits? No, you don't get anywhere near enough in here to, to warrant a thousand credits. You got one coating that can be used on one core, one weapon coating that can be used on one weapon, a charm and an emblem. I think if you got the weapon coating for the battle rifle, sidekick and assault rifle, then I would consider that worth it. But as it stands right now, I do not believe these are worth 1000 credits. One bonus is that you can actually use the coating with your armor. It's not a kit, it is an actual coating and I think that definitely makes it much better than the season 1 bundles. But I don't believe there's enough here that warrants it being a thousand credits. I know I have brought the Optic one, that's because I really like how it looks, that doesn't mean that I think it's worth it or that I believe you should all spend your money on it. If you do, just go for your favourite or for whichever team you're supporting. I have no issue if people want to spend the money on it, I just don't think they're worth this much. Out of all of them, my favourite is definitely the Optic one, and if I'm to pick up another one, it'll probably be the Navi one. But overall, most of them are pretty solid and I'm very excited to see some people running around the battlefield with these coatings equipped. But anyway, that's every single one of the esports skins. Let me know which one your favourite is, or if you'll be picking any of these up. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll catch you all in the next one.